Hello, 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 YouTube. My name is Yadingus, and um, today we're gonna be playing some Hyrule Warriors. All right, let's start this off. We're gonna start in Legend Mode at the very beginning, Hyrule Field. Um, I have actually beaten this game. I'm sorry, I did some video editing and stuff earlier, and my computer got messed up. So um, I'm sorry about that, guys. We're gonna start from the beginning though, and um, yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, as you're seeing here, you have Zelda fleeing from the darkness. Um, she wakes up, it's actually a dream. Um, I guess it's a foreshadowing of what's to come. And here's Impa, telling, basically saying what I just said, it's an omen. Of what's going to happen to Hyrule in its dark times, which is basically coming right now. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that right now, because I don't want to spoil anything. And as you can see, that's Link's future tunic. And, um, yeah, basically we're going to save the day, hopefully, if I don't die a thousand times, like Dark Souls, but who knows. But, after all that, here we are, we got Impa and Zelda on top of Hyrule Castle looking down on Link, who is going through training at the moment. He's a very new warrior, as we have it right now. He doesn't know, I mean, Zelda doesn't know anything about him. He hasn't really showed his roots yet, and as you can see, this is the first stare down, and many more to come. Maybe even marriage, who knows? Love at first sight, I guess. And um, as we have here, we have a soldier basically saying that we need to prepare troops for battle. And yeah, here we go. And we have all the trainees looking around like, why is Zelda here? What is she doing wasting her time? Basically just saying what they just said. I'm sorry guys, <laughs> but who cares? And now we have this beautiful awesome scenery of That's um Volga, that's um Wizaro, and that's the darkness are coming for us And I'm not saying the same darkness as destiny don't get those two mixed up. This is a better game than destiny story wise and here we go. We have link Coming into battle. He's prepared. He's got his triforce with him. He's got his Helian sword, and let's do this. Now we get a little loading scene. Hordes it's basically saying that we have hordes of monsters laying siege to the kingdom of Hyrule. Prince Princess Zelda led by violent defense, violent defense against hopeless odds. News, News of the Hylian army's intimate defeat, defeat reached to the training. cadets in the Knights training yard. As the elite, As the elite troops fell into battle, battle Hyrule's trainees were left to wait helplessly, helplessly inside the castle walls. Basically exactly what she's saying. But despite the odds, when young knight took up his simple training sword and chose to fight, the brave young man was named Link. Isn't that freaking sweet? Compelled to act, he rushed into his monster-ridden battlefield to assist Zelda and defeat Hyrule. Yeah, basically I was just repeating what she was saying. You didn't even have to listen to me. I'm sorry. I just wanted. To, I just like to talk. And um, yeah, start this battle. This is gonna be sick. If anybody doesn't know what this game is really about, it's a crossover between basically Dynasty Warriors and Zelda. It's all the roots of Zelda, but has the gameplay aspect of Dynasty Warriors. And as you can see, um, you can just see me rushing through hordes of monsters at the moment. And if you look in the right hand corner, you have um, a map. And um, each blue area indicates where your allies have taken over. And um, each red area, which is basically the whole entire map at the moment, represents all of the dark forces. And um, at the moment, we need to help Impa basically kill off these little grunts. I don't really want to know what to call them, but um, after we do that, um, I guess we have the rendezvous towards Zelda, which is um, this flag in the middle, if you see that. And now we have a fairy who's actually not Navi, which is surprising. As you can see, he goes into your chest and he has a little quote that says, Thanks, I'm Proxy, and who are you? Which is quite frankly weird in my opinion, but um, I don't know about y'all. Um, I guess in the comments, leave your 
I guess, what you think about him. And, um, yeah. But, as you can tell, there's little sections or squares and things like that. Each square indicates a, um, basically kind of like a little checkpoint type thing. Not really a checkpoint, but a little, like, area to take over, like, a, I don't know, like a keep, I'm guessing. Like, yeah. I guess that's what you want to call it. I don't really know what to call it, in my opinion. It's basically, like, a whole entire area that's either filled with your troops or basically their troops and the more you have the more your morale goes up since, since like I'm about to you can see in the corner that um there's like a little meter that goes down basically you once you um get it all the way down you're you summon the boss to that area and once you defeat that boss you basically take over that key and um sorry about that I'm, I'm kind of getting off topic but this is uh, Dragon Knight Volga. He's one of the, I guess, main bosses you'll see um, every once in a while. He's part of the darkness. Uh, I guess commanded under... Right now, I'm not going to say anything else, but right now he's commanded under Wizaro, the Dark Wizard. But, yeah, it keeps going on and on. I'm not going to get too much in detail because it'll basically run everything for y'all. Since I've already basically been in the game. But, um, yeah, now you have him trying to kill us, and, um, you see Impa comes to save the day right now, and Volga's laughing at him like, you're stupid, or her, like, you're stupid, and, um, now he's gonna charge up and basically come a Sasuke and shoot you with a giant fireball. What a great moment, as you can tell, Link comes out of nowhere with his Triforce and blocks the attack and saves Im Impa, and now we have to, um, I guess wait until further instructions, but I'm gonna go over here real fast, and I guess I'm gonna take over this keep, because I was doing that earlier and I completely forgot about it, sorry guys, but um, as you can tell, Dark was just mad of Volga, and um, it's like, seriously, you couldn't do that, but... As you can tell, you have Link on your side, and once you have Link on your side, you couldn't really get anywhere, you know. Alright, we have uh, Liz of Faros. I don't. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But basically, we have to go and kill him off, because he's causing havoc to our um, Hylian troops. Our captain over there. Which is pretty cool, because you have like all different type of races. You got the Gurons. The Zoros, um, the Hylians, everything, everybody's here, everybody wants to help. And as you can see, I got, since I opened that, you want to go in there, right? That mine entrance holds some pretty cool loot, which I'm about to show you right now. Mine's going to be different since I've already gotten what's inside there, I believe. What you guys get from it is bombs. There's no other way because those little freaky looking minion things kill off your way to get out. But I believe they give you the bombs to get out and you just throw them at the thing with, um, I guess, DR. Which is, yeah, basically, this is in the corner. But um, now we need to go to where the X is. X marks the spot. Sorry, I wasn't really paying much attention, so I can't tell you what exactly we're doing. But I'm guessing we're going to rendezvous with Zelda or take over this keep, which we've already done. So I don't think that's what we're doing. So yeah, I was right. We're gonna go. I guess yeah, we're gonna rendezvous with Zelda, and um, she's probably gonna give us a plan. And as you can see, I press the A button and I can use a special. I have two right now because I unlocked that, but you'll probably, you start out with one. And as you can see, as my meter goes up, after coming off monsters, you can basically use the A button to um, use a big special. 
and kill off lots of monsters, you usually get around 43 to about 50 plus, maybe 60, even 80 sometimes, or even more or less, depending on how many monsters are in the area or how well you strategize it. Like right now, I'm probably gonna get about 38. Not 32, I was wrong, but I was close. Right now, I'm just gonna keep attacking these um, grunts until Zelda comes up with a plan. He's complimenting right now. Thank you, Zelda, for that. Now we need to capture these keeps, so we, I guess that she can um, strategize for a new plan. And I'm gonna slowly kill off these dudes. But yeah, um, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk a little about the game. Um, the game is actually in stunning 1080p, which is quite surprising, depending that it is a Nintendo game. And um, the only bad thing about this, when you're with friends, you actually lose quality to the game. I think it goes down to um, 720. But I'm not too sure. I mean, you might need to check me out on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So I've heard that in some places. But um, I don't think it really matters, though, because who really cares? I mean, it is graphics, but either way, the gameplay is still the same. But to those who have friends like I do, um, I'm sorry that you guys have to suffer. But if you don't, have any friends to play with, with or just don't like to really play co-op with anybody, yeah, just this is the graphics you're gonna see. It's pretty stunning, actually. I've never really experienced a Zelda game as legit as this one when it comes to graphics. Um, sorry about that. I got off topic again, but we're gonna go to where the X is net. The X locates um, the um, Great Fairy, which is from the Zelda games. If any of y'all played it, but I know pretty much 99.9% .9 of you have, which you're that 1%. The Great Fairy in the Zelda games um, grants you with like health or um, I guess magic and um, sometimes even other things. I'm gonna kill off these things a little bit. It's not gonna move unless I kill off everything in the area. And yeah, now we rendezvous to um, the Great Fairy's temple. And if you see this little circle in the middle, press Y to um basically summon her or whatever else functions it's telling you to do but as you can see right here we got her she's pretty stunning in this game she just she's actually looks pretty attractive unlike what you see in um, the original Zelda games she's got more pixels and actually looks more mature-ish got Goron Handing her a little bomb. And now you get a giant bomb, the equivalent of the Atom with the Zelda world. You're gonna blow it up on your forces. On the darkness forces. And, um, that what a devastating effect. Is what they just said. And now we have to go, I guess, stay right here until further instruction. Oh yeah, I don't know if I said this or not, I probably have, but the more morale your troops have, the, the heavier the fight. So let's say, um, I, um, I guess, capture these keeps. The more keeps I have, or the more, like, damage I'm doing to their forces, the more morale I get, and with the more morale, the more your troops Courage gets, or um, I guess whatever you want to call it. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna call it courage, I guess, or confidence, or the word I'm going with. The more confidence your troops get, and the stronger they get. But on the flip side, the same way, um, 
but the more confidence that you get your um, fellow darkness or bad guys do the same thing so let's say you lose some keeps or um, things aren't going your way their morale can go up and um, the troops are glowing red and the harder they come to beat and as you see there's a spider web in the left hand side of the corner there's a sculptula which is basically those creepy little spider things from Ocarina and even Majora maybe I don't remember I'm pretty sure there is you might need to hit me with a V8 I'm sorry or I could have had a V8 it's a thing more like it because um, I feel kind of stupid because I can't remember something like that even though I played the game 24-7 back in my childhood which is quite sad but as you can see we got Dung Dongo and what you want to do is like you just saw there it's gonna open this mouth and gonna throw bombs into it and you're gonna hit it until this and you're gonna keep hitting it and um, see this little bar thing that looks like the little Mario health life thing from the original Super 4 game once that goes all the way down, as you see right here, you get a special move where you can jump on him like stab him in the head or something. And it takes away a lot of health, and as you can see, it was an effective attack. And, um, yeah, we just, I'm pretty sure we just beat this level. Could be wrong. But yeah, we did. And, um... You might want to go around and collect all this loot and stuff because you're not going to have another chance after that but if you want to but you want to get everything you want to do done first because once you beat the last thing you can't do anything else and the whole entire match is over so let's say you want to capture some keeps or get more loot or materials or just basically just want to hack and slash just for the heck of it you might want to get that done first, because once you complete this, you're going to go to the cutscene, and the whole entire battle is over. And as you can see, Zelda went into hiding, and now we're trying to figure out where the heck she is, because basically, it's a dark time right now, and that's the last thing you want to have, is Zelda gone. Now Link's gonna become a hero, as you can tell, and there's the Triforce on the screen telling you about how it's harmonious with the power and wisdom and courage is an object of countless battles between the forces of light and darkness. Each time the Triforce fell into clutches of evil, Hyrule was plunged into misery. But in, every age, but in every age, a hero, a hero clad, in clad in the green, would, would restore, restore peace in the land. During one of these dark, During times, one of these dark times, the legendary, the legendary hero split the spirit, the of, evil spirit of evil into fragments, four fragments, sealing each, each away to finally the break the cycle of destruction. I don't sound as cool as this girl speaking. But I just like to speak. I'm sorry. Three of these fragments are scattered across the. the I don't remember what it said. I was paying attention, but the final fragment was sealed in the sacred temple, the built upon holy made. ground, imprisoned. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna tell you about the story because I can't talk like that. But um, sorry about that. <laughs> I completely wasted your time. With that cutscene. I'm sorry. But basically, what we have here is um. See ya. Once the the power, the Triforce, and um, those little balls you see are split into four different type of chests, and um, basically, as um, the story goes on, you, as Link and others, have to go and um, basically protect the Triforce from the darkness, such as Sia and Volga, as you saw. And other crazy characters you're gonna find along the way. 
And I'm sorry guys, I forgot to tell you what you see here is a thing. You're gonna click start to get the bazaar. And um as you see you have attacks, assists, and all the other things. As the time goes by, you can um, upgrade it by um, certain materials and things like that. And you can go through other all the characters and you can get like attack attributes and things like that. But um, yeah, that's the end of this video. If you guys liked it, leave a like, um, comment, subscribe, do whatever. I'm out, guys. I'll see you in the next video coming up in a few minutes.